that. So we have the sales here. Sales has a credit in it. We need to make it go down to zero to close it out. How do we do that? We do the opposite thing to it, which in this case would be a debit. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put it up in H5, right click, paste one, two, three. That's going to be the 150,000. If we debit something, we're also going to credit something. I'm going to represent that with a negative 150 for our worksheet here to have the credits in brackets. That's going to go into the income summary, our clearing account here. So this is a clearing account. I'm going to copy the income summary. That will be the credit in H6. Right click and paste one, two, three. All right, let's post this one out. We're going to go to sales in N16. We're going to select equal point to the sales and see if it does what we want it to do. What do we want it to do? We want sales to go down to zero because we're going to close out the sale. So we're going to say enter. Sales goes down to zero. We closed it out. We're going to put that into income summary in N15. So we're in N15 equals and we're going to point to the 150. That'll bring the zero up to 150. Back in balance down here with the zero. We're going to do the same thing for the expense account. I'm going to make a new journal entry. I want to make these two go to zero. So these two have debit balances like all expenses do. To make it go down, we're going to do the opposite thing to it, which in this case is a credit. So I'm going to copy both of these. I'm going to skip a line. I'm going to skip another line because I don't want the I want to put the credits on the bottom. So then we're going to be down here in H9. So in H9, I'm going to right click, paste one, two, three. And then I'm going to put credits in here for 60 and 10 to make those go down to zero. So I'm going to put a negative 60,000 in J9 and then a negative 10,000 in J10 and enter. Those will format for us, of course. Then we're going to need a debit of how much? 60 plus 10, 70. And I want it to be a positive, so I could put a positive 70. I'm going to put my negative sum function in there. So this is my, what I call the plug function. Set of equals negative SUM brackets the sum function. Notice if this pops up here, you can move it out of the way or you can just start from the bottom. I like to highlight all four columns, all four cells, just in case there's amounts in mo more than those cells and enter. Then we end up with a positive number. So it summed those up, which would be a negative 70, then flip the sign because we put a negative in front of it. What account is that going to go to? The income summary account. So I'm going to copy the income summary going to put that that will be our debit in h8 and right click paste in it one two three all right let's post this out so i'm going to go over here and in 15 there's something in it what's in it j6 is in it that 150 i'm going to therefore double click on it go to the end of it and say plus and then point to this 70,000 and enter all right then i'm going to close these two out so now we're going to post the 60 and the 10 so we are in n17 equals the 60,000, this should go down to zero once we select enter, like so. And then we're going to post the wages expense in N18 equals point to that 10,000. The 10 should go down to zero. We should be back in balance. All right, so what has happened now? We've closed these three out. That's what we wanted to happen. And what is an income summary now? 80,000, that 80,000 being net income. So notice that many problems will actually ask, they'll shorten the whole process up by just saying close the income summary out to the capital account. And you're supposed to just kind of realize this whole process has happened up to this point. And now we're really allocating net income, which is now an income summary to the capital accounts. So that's where we're going to start. That's where some many problems will just basically say without giving you a trial balance or anything. The income summary has 80,000 and it closed it out to the capital account based on these criteria. So this is the criteria that we are now allocating this 80,000 to C capital, uh, X capital, and S capital. How are we going to do it? Based on this allocation. So this allocation is how we're going to do that. So 80,000 is income summary. We want to make that go down to zero. How do we do that? Well, it has a credit in it. We're going to do the opposite, which is a debit. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put that in H12, right click, paste, one, two, three. It's going to go down by 80,000 debit. Then we're going to have to credit something for 80,000. And of course, we're going to have to credit the three partner capital accounts because there's three people we need to credit now for their capital accounts. So we're going to credit 
and then copy the X capital count. I'm going to copy that, right click, copy, and paste it in H14. Right click, paste one, two, three, and then we're going to copy the S capital in L13. Right click and copy, and then we're going to paste that one, two, three. So those are the three capital counts that, of course, will be affected in this. Now, you might have thought, is there an easier way to do that? Could we have copied and pasted that a little bit faster? And there is. So let me show you that real quick. I'm going to delete these. If, if you put your cursor on C uh, capital, hold down the control. Don't hit the scroll bar while you're holding down control. Funny things will happen. And then go to the uh, X capital and then the S capital. Notice we're highlighting what they call uh, non-adjacent cells, cells that aren't uh, next to each other. And then if we copy that, right click and copy those, and then paste those, we, we could right click and paste one, two, three, and we can do that all in one uh, setting like that. And then we're going to allocate this out in accordance to, of course, our capital allocation that we decided over here, which adds up to 80,000. So C, we decided that we're going to allocate uh, 24067. Going to put a negative to represent it as a credit, then a negative 3267. And then a negative uh, 25667 and enter. So if we highlight those, then notice it, it adds up to uh, 80,000 and one. And so if I highlight all of them, I'm off by, you know, I've got a one dollar there. Why? Why? And that's because, of course, of rounding. So we have a rounding issue. It's a dollar, so that's usually not going to be, uh, you know, cause anyone too much problem. So we could take care of that, though, by saying, hmm, how about I add one? To one of these and um, and we should be okay and then obviously s corporation got ripped off of a dollar there so if you know if that upsets anyone we could uh, we can negotiate that but uh, that will happen with rounding issues here so we could have some rounding issues just keep that in mind if you're off by a dollar then just note that that's because of rounding all right let's allocate this out so we're gonna double click on the income summary here we're gonna double click go to the end something's in it we're going to say plus and point to that 80,000 that should bring the income summary down to zero then we're going to post out the capital count so we're going to start over here in n10 uh, i'm sorry n9 equals and we're going to post to the c's capital count what's going to happen it's going to go up in the credit direction by the 24 because of course c is owed more money at this time and then we're going to go to the x capital count the next partner in n11 equals we'll point to the 30,267 what's going to happen it's going to go up in the credit direction by 30,267 to 246 267 because we owe x more money and then we're going to go to s capital same thing in n13 equals and we're going to point to that 25666 in this case what's going to happen that amount's going to go up to the 145666 because we owe s more money in this case all right now we need to do the last part of the closing process which is always to uh, close out the withdrawals to the respective capital accounts withdrawals being the money that was taken out we need to take this draws out to that capital this draws to that capital this draws to that capital we could think about it this way we can think well the draws need to go to zero so I'm gonna take all the draws and they have debit balances in them we need to make them go down so we're going to do the opposite thing to it, which in this case would be a credit. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try to do this at one time. I'm going to copy. I'm going to put my cursor on C uh, withdraws, hold down control, put my cursor on X withdraws, hold down control. I'm still holding control <laughs> and then F, S withdraws, then right click on those, copy those. Now I want to put these on the bottom and there's going to be three capital accounts on the top. So I'm going to skip a line for a new journal entry. Then I'm going to skip three more lines, one, two, three, because those are where the capital accounts are going to go on top, and then put it down here on H20. Right click and paste one, two, three. So that's where it's going to go because I want three capital accounts on top here. So the drawing accounts then are going to go down by what is in them. So we're going to put a credit of 18,000. We're going to put a credit for X withdrawals of a credit negative 38,000. Then we're going to put a credit for F's withdrawals in J22 of a negative uh, 24,000. And then we're going to have to put the, the capital accounts to which those draws will be uh, allocated to, which is going to be, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold down control and put my cursor on C capital, then hold down control, then highlight uh, X capital, then highlight S capital while holding down control. We have the non-adjacent cells highlighted. 
Then we're going to right click and copy those. Put our cursor on the top three cells and right click and paste one, two, three. And now we have to put the respective uh, debits here. So the 18 draws to C capital will be uh, going to the capital count for C. So we're going to put 18,000. And then the, the withdrawals for the uh, X withdrawals will, of course, be going to X's capital count, 38,000. And then S's withdrawals will be going to S's capital count of 24,000. So let's post that and see if it does what we expect it to do. What do we expect it to do? We want the, the withdrawals to go to zero, zero, zero. And then the capital counts will go down by the withdrawals. Why? Because this is how much is owed to that partner. This is how much the partner took out. Therefore, uh, the company no longer owes that partner the 18000 So these two are really going to make each other go down. This is basically a contra equity account. So let's see that. We're going to go to the capital account. Something's in it. There it is. It's J13 in there. We're going to double click on it and go to the end of it and say plus and then point to that 18. That's going to make the capital count go down. But we're going to do the same thing to the X's. So here's the X capital. We're going to point that to X capital. We're going to put that in the adjusting column, double click on it, go to the end of it, plus point to that 38. That's going to make this amount go down. We're going to do the same thing to S capital. Post that out to S capital. Something's in it. Going to double click on it, go to the end of it, and plus point to that 24,000. That's going to make this amount go down. All right, now we're going to post these three. So we're going to post the S withdraws. So we're going to be here in N10 equals and point to that 18,000. That should make the 18 go to zero, like so. We're going to go to N12 and say equals point to the 38,000. That will make this 38 go to zero. And then we're going to do the same thing for uh, in N14 for the S withdrawals equals and point to the 24. That's going to make this 24 go to zero. All right, so there we have it. So now we have closed this out. Same closing process as for a sole proprietor in that we have everything below the capital counts being zero at the end of the day. And we have all the respective draws accounts zero and the uh, capital accounts now represented by the three partnerships in this case, the capital accounts for the three partners in the partnership.